What's up, world? People of Earth, take me to your leader. Uh, that's not me, by the way. Um, I'm just a contributor. So, in, to do that, to contribute, I want to do a little video on climate change. I've um, done a little bit of work to write up this uh, assessment, and uh, I'm just going to read it to you because it sums up mostly most of where I've come from. All right, a few thoughts on climate change, skeptics. Quote, scientists are always skeptics, end quote. Donald A. Norman, professor, emeritus, 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 I don't even know how to say the word. That's how smart he is. <laughs> of cognitive science at the University of California, San Diego. Quote, most institutions demand unqualified faith but the institution of science makes skepticism a virtue, end quote. Robert K. Merton, the late university professor of Columbia University. By the way, university professor is the highest rank you can get there. Quote, science is the unorganized, is the, I'm sorry, let me start over. Quote, science is the organized skepticism in the reliability of expert opinion. End quote. Richard P. Feynman, physicist and winner of the 1965 Nobel Prize for Physics. Talk, taking skeptics into those contexts, I feel rather elevated, albeit I can assure you unduly. Climate change data for a fact, climate data has for a fact been modified by NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It's a, a organization um, under the federal government and NASA y'all National Aeronautics and Space Administration you guys have heard of NASA climate scientists claim that it's better information than actual temperature readings and produced by unbiased computers at the risk of sounding condescending for I'm sure there's certainly and undeniably no reason for it as we are all equals in God's sight might I suggest that while there are certainly no politically biased computers the commonly used computer acronym GIGO which is an acronym for garbage in garbage out principle is always susceptible to both programmer and user bias alike as William D. Mellon who is an army, army mathematician working on early computers explained it in 1957 quote if the problem has been sloppily programmed the answer will be just as incorrect end quote I am not suggesting that this means for 100% certainty that altered climate data is biased but only the possibility that it indeed can be no matter how much reasoning and facts go into the alterations I would also allude to the fact that Ga Galileo Galilei himself was sentenced to house arrest after or because he claimed the sun was at the center of the universe. Why would I bring that up, you might ask? Consensus of the day was the earth was the center of the universe and anything else was considered heresy. Consensus of the Al Gorean day, now or today, is that human contribution of climate change is a known and accepted fact and anything else is considered for all intents and purposes, modern day heresy. The absolute worst, this is my opinion now, way to declare scientific proof is to insist that there is, there is no possibility for any other theory to be fact and there is no debate. Hell, if that were true, what are we discussing when we talk about climate change? If you agree with human caused climate change, I'm not suggesting you are wrong. I'm suggesting there is a broad debate on the topic and with good reason. Any number, number of them would come to mind. Reason number one to me. If atmospheric carbon was indeed seven times the current content in the Cambrian period, which was 500 million years ago roughly, give or take, why hasn't the earth accelerated into a greenhouse effect a runaway greenhouse effect and destroy itself into an atmosphere much like the one found on Venus. Question number two. If humans have warmed the planet by our contribution to atmospheric carbon, is it proven with absolute certainty that it can only be a bad thing? 
question number three. If humans have warmed the planet by our contribution of atmospheric carbon, and it is absolutely determined to be an overall harm to the planet, can we realistically do anything about it? Question number four. Given the scenario in number three, why would then China and India commit to actually increasing their contribution to carbon in the Earth's atmosphere until the year 2030 per the Paris Climate Accord? These questions, and many more, that's just the tip of the iceberg in my mind, are very valid questions which needn't be needn't for any responsible reason be silenced. Furthermore, if we are to embrace the undebatable mandate that human destruction of planet of the planet through carbon emissions is an indisputable fact and set out to destroy hum humanity by reverse engineering our species back to the stone age, who by the way did produce atmospheric carbon through burning firewood. <laughs> I might add that. Since we currently do not have anywhere near the adequate generation or technology to accomplish green energy production and storage of it to compete with levels of humanity's current amount of energy consumption to survive, what is the point of saving the planet if we annihilate our species to extinction? What if 97% not of climate scientists, which was, was a debunked statement that Obama made when he was president. What if 90% of humanity is wrong? What then? Not that we are the only rightful species to dominate the planet, but how about we are pre worth preserving as well? The end. For now. That's my... Uh, latest thoughts on climate change.